In my last video, I started a simple markdown website using jotit.com, demonstrated the initial setup and formatting to get a website. As you can see, I'm coming back to the same website here. To be able to edit it, you must remember what your password was. So you have to sign in with it. I'm going to sign in and now I have I can edit the website I created from before. To edit any page, you simply just enter edit. And we're going to do that now. So uh, put your name in here. My name is Robert. And welcome to my website. Okay, this is all going to be in capitals because uh, it's under, got one. Uh, it's large letters and capitals because it's got one sharp symbol in front and as it says it shows this Okay, so what we want to be able to do is I'm going to enter a photo. I thought we'd see how to do a photo Again, you can do a photo like I showed in the previous one. You can link to any photo Anywhere on the internet. However, Jada itself does not host photos I thought I would just do a simple demo of doing a photo with uh, using uh, uh, Google Photos. That works pretty good. So if you have a photo you've already created with a camera, um, just to minimize the download, I would probably suggest what you do is um, uh, try to reduce it with some program like Photo Filter. Uh, again, for editing photos, editing photos offline, I would suggest using, I'll put some suggestions here. Uh, my favorite is called Photo Filter. And you go to photofilter.com. And if you go there, you'll be able to see it. It's a pretty good website. I can bring it up here. Fo sorry. Photo filtre.com. And it'll come up. Oh, I guess I misspelled it. It's not going to like that. Filtre. So it's written by someone in France. And so the reason it has photo filtre is because that's the French spelling. So as you can see, it comes up. We go to the English site. If you speak English. And there's several versions. Uh, the Studio X is the latest one, and that one you're supposed to pay for. Uh, Photo Filter 7 and Photo Filter 6 works pretty good. Uh, the basic one, Photo Filter 6, actually has all the requirements we need. We're not going to do layering. That would be fairly complex. So feel free to download Photo Filter 6. Uh, it's free, obviously, as it says there. So anyway, what you can do is you can use Photo Filter to actually reduce the size of your photo because most digital cameras will create photos of about 5 megabytes and that's way too large to, for download purposes. Uh, you can also use pho uh, Google Photos actually to host your photos. Once they're hosted on Google Photos, you can actually take your photos and then uh, they actually can be hosted and you can actually find it on a website. So I'm going to take this nice sunset I have from Goa, India. I'll click on it. And what I like to do is use this on my website. Now, if you're going to have your photo hosted in Google Photos, what you want to do is, there's several things you can do. First of all, you can edit it if you like. So I'm going to hit edit. And when I edit it, you can try to enhance things by adjusting the things. What that usually works pretty good is auto. Edit original, okay. And it changes the colors. If you don't like what it did, you can just go back to the original too. Actually, I think I like the original the best. Um, there's other different filters you can use. If you want to adjust the lighting, you can change that here. It changes the brightness. Change the color, have things pop out more. Uh, you can actually click on here and adjust the size of the photo. 
I can bring this down, for example, and we bring the beach scene up. You can adjust the, actually the angle of it. So this really works good with things with horizons because you can put the horizon flat. So the photo seems like it works better. You just simply hit done and then you're back to it. So one thing about Google Photos is that it just saves all the edit commands and then it renders the image for the web. And this works pretty good um, because it keeps the original photo intact, therefore you should have no degradation. When you're going to be using a photo, notice you can change the size here. Depends how big of a photo you want. Um, but what we can do is adjust the photo to the size we'd like for our website. And then what we're going to do is hit reload this page. That's going to lock the photo into a fixed width. And after you've done that and the photo's been reloaded, what you want to do is click here, copy image address. This is going to be a really long address, but it's okay. It'll work fine. Right, I'm going to go to my markdown here. No, I was going to complete this, so I'll hit. Another good one to check out was GIMP.org. That's another fairly good photo editor that's free. Okay, and then of course if you have Adobe Photoshop, which is very expensive, that's probably the best one. But it takes a long time to learn. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to put this photo from Google Photos. And again, let's... Uh, so you have the URL for it. I'm going to put it in Markdown here. Google Photos is photos.google.com. Different than images.google.com because Photos is where you can actually host your own photos. So I'm going to put that in here. And again, that's a good website to go. And again, if you want to search for images, then the thing to do is go images.google.com. And if you do that, you can actually search for images. So these are all sources you can have. But again, photos.google.com, you can actually take your own photos, host them, and then they're viewable online, which is great. So, um... Let me, let me put it here earlier. You can search on images.google.com to try to find some. Okay, so now we're again, we're at photos.google.com. We're looking at a photo that I created. I've adjusted the size. I reloaded the page. I can do it one more time. Everything looks good. And what I can do now is after it's loaded, I can do a right click and it says copy image address. After I copy the image address, I'll go back down to my Markdown document. We can make it bigger here. And what I want to do is put my photo in here. So I'm going to use exclamation mark, square braces, and then parentheses. In the square braces, you just have to put some text. Sunset from Goa, India. And then the text can be anything you want, of course. It doesn't have to be in double quotes or anything. And then the parentheses, you have to give it the URL. So I copied the URL again. Do a right click. And we're going to do copy image address. So I copied the image address. And I'm going to go back to Markdown. I'm going to hit Paste. And as you can see, it's a lot of code. But it's okay. The computer found the photo. And whoa, it's very big. That is not, that's too big of a photo for me. I want something smaller. So what you may need to do, this actually works pretty good. I can change my browser size. So what I'm going to do is pull the tab off so it's in a separate window. And what I'm going to try to do now Looks like I'm uh, outside of my window. Come on. Oops. You have to adjust the window width. Looks like I have to go back to the original one. 
Okay, I have to go back. I'm going to go back to Google Photos. That didn't quite work here. Looks like I have to drop it back in. Okay, now you can see it. So what I'm going to do is reduce this down quite a bit. And again, I'm just going to reload. So hopefully Google will sync into the new width. And what I can now do is do, actually let's try going back here. Here's my photo. And so what I want to do is just grab it, copy link address. Let's see if this works. And I'm going to go back here. And I just want to copy and paste the new URL code. And hopefully it didn't happen. Too bad. Okay, let's try it one more time. I'm going to go back to my photo. Here's my photo here. I want to try to reduce the photo down in size. I'll hit reload. And again, I'm going to try to do a right click copy image. And I'm going to go back to my URL here. And it should be a nice long string of text. And I think this looks good. Yeah, the photo is not so large now. So that seemed to work. So again, in Google Photos, where you display the photo, you've got to change the browser window the size you would like the photo captured at, and then copy it. OK, and that looks pretty good. So that's a custom photo I created. And I've now dropped it into uh, Jotit. And we're good to go. And you can create some new pages as you wish. Another thing I did is I have a website that I actually put quite a bit of code on. It's at uh, umuc.jotit.com. Please go there and you can uh, check out some interesting information. Uh, the guy who invented Markdown and Jotit is Aaron Schwartz. So the, click on this link there's a free video you can watch about them it's kind of an interesting video I did also work through several pages here I took a recent trip to Ihejima so if you click on this link you will actually be able to see some pages I developed based on the trips so as you can see it's pretty easy to put photos in I posted all these photos on Google, on photos.google.com using their editor and so forth. So it's pretty easy to work with your own photos. So hopefully that gets you started and hopefully you'll enjoy this assignment.